Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020forum.com. So, how do vaccines work? Well, vaccines work by training our immune system to A, recognize a threat, and B, deal with a threat. And the threat is usually either bacteria or a virus. And we call the bacteria or the virus a pathogen. That's the medical terminology for them. Now, what about vaccine developers? How do they do their job to be able to help us uh, deal with all of these threats? Well, vaccine developers take molecules from the bacteria or the virus, modify it such that the end product, which is a vaccine, is potent enough to trigger an immune response in our body, but not potent enough to do us any significant harm. That's how vaccines are programmed. Now, for any vaccination exercise to be successful, two things have to happen. The first is that there has to be an initial antibody response to the antigen, which is the vaccine that's just been introduced into our body. The vaccine is the antigen, and that has to trigger an initial antibody response. That's the first thing that needs to happen. The second thing that needs to happen is that the antigen and the corresponding antibody response has to be stored in our body's immunological system. So we have to have that immunological memory. It's got to be saved in our body's immunological hard drive such that if the threat comes up again in future, our immune system says, ah, I know you, you were here before, you are a threat, goes ahead and neutralizes it. That is how uh, a vaccination exercise is supposed to work and be effective. Now, is there anything you can do to optimize your response to any vaccination exercise? Well, there is, and it is called sleep. Yes, sleep. It is very simple. It is something you can do before you receive a vaccine and after as well. And if you think this is just my opinion, well, it isn't. I'm gonna show you three scientific papers that prove the case that having a good sleep before you receive a vaccination and also after uh, is one of the things you can do to optimize your response to any vaccine that you receive, either today or in future. So let's get started. So here are the studies. The first one uh, was published in Behavioral Sleep Medicine and is titled, Is Insomnia a Risk Factor for Decreased Influenza Vaccine Response? And uh, basically what they did in this study is they took 133 healthy young adult college students, split them into two groups. One group had insomnia, the other group didn't have insomnia and they took their blood uh, at the beginning of the study and then four weeks later after they had a flu shot and they wanted to see the response of the two groups. And what they found uh, was that the group that had insomnia had a very poor antibody response to the flu shots. And you know, their conclusion was that the results indicate that insomnia may be a risk factor for lowered immunity to the uh, influenza virus, okay? So that was uh, the result of the first study. So what about this other study here? Uh, this one was published in Sleep Journal and it's titled Sleep and Antibody Response to Hepatitis B Vaccination. And the premise of the study was looking at the naturally occurring sleep uh, being associated with immune responses known to play a role uh, in protection against uh, infection. And uh, the same thing, uh, because this one is based on hepatitis B, they split the groups together and they found also a similar poor response in the group uh, that was sleep deprived. And their conclusion uh, from this study was that short sleep duration in the natural environment may negatively affect in vivo, that is within our body, in vivo antibody responses, uh, to novel antigens, uh, providing a possible explanation for observed associations of poor sleep with increased susceptibility to infectious disease. So those, uh, those first two studies were looking at what happens when you have poor sleep before you receive uh, your vaccine. Now, this third study uh, is looking at what happens if you don't sleep well after you have received your vaccine. So uh, here it is, and uh, it was published in uh, the Journal of uh, Immunology, and it is titled Sleep After Vaccination Boosts Immunological Memory. 
and uh, what they did in this study was they took 27 healthy men vaccinated them with hepatitis a uh, vaccine three times uh, in the beginning uh, week 8 as well as uh, week 16 with conditions of sleep versus wakefulness uh, the uh, following night so uh, one group were always sleep deprived after they were vaccinated at week 0 week 8 and week 16 and the other group had a good night rest after their vaccination and what did they find similar story uh, the group that was sleep deprived had very poor response and indeed in this very study they followed them up for a whole year okay a whole year and they still have poor response in the sleep deprived group and they concluded that uh, we show for the first time that sleep indeed enhances vaccine driven induction of immunological memory so this third study is telling us that for you uh, to develop a good immunological memory following vaccination you need good sleep after you have received the vaccine so uh, good sleep before and good sleep after helps to optimize your response to any vaccine so here's my advice for you if you're going to receive the flu shot or the COVID-19 uh, shot uh, and you should uh, well uh, what you should do is make sure you get at least two to three good nights sleep before you receive the shot and make sure you also get a good night's sleep uh, the night after you have received the vaccine. It doesn't matter any type of vaccine that you're receiving, whether it's the flu shot or the COVID-19 uh, shot, uh, just make sure you get good sleep before and after. And if you're somebody who works night shift, uh, you, you want to make sure that you time your vaccination uh, to have days off, say at least two nights before you receive your vaccine, and also you're not working the night after you have received your vaccine, okay? That would be my advice for you. Now, hopefully you got some value from this video. If you did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, please like the video. And also please share this video with your friends, family, and colleagues. Uh, if you haven't joined us yet at the 2020 Forum platform, please go ahead and join us there. If you've got any questions uh, regarding this sleep and vaccination video, go ahead and leave your questions below. Uh, or any comments that you have for that matter. Now, there should be two videos on your screen now. Uh, they're videos designed to help you take control of your health. Uh, go ahead, click to watch any of the two videos. I think that's about it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.